educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the July 20th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. The easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We need to make that one little two by four shift. It means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During the next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone, dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, can't dial in, you can always send me an email. Send that to steve at tfn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tigers, then well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get our show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, a bit of a mixed bag out here. you got the Dow trading down 57 points. The New York Stock Exchange off 26. They're down about two tenths percent. Otherwise, you've got the S&P up 12, the NASDAQ up 139, the Russell's up 13, semis are up 42. That's one and a half percent to the upside out there. You've got gold down about nine bucks right now. 1702 is the print. Silver's off four pennies at 1867. Lights recruit at $100.48. It's off 27 cents. Natural gas up 41 cents. Nice six percent move to the upside there. The 30-year Treasury is up five ticks. She traded out at 138.23. Lead the charge dollar-wise. The upside, Mercado Libre up 38 bucks or 5% HubSpot. 27 bucks, nearly 10%. Chipotle up 22, about 2%. To the downside, it's Elevins Health. It's not elevating too well. It's down 40 bucks, 8%. Lithium Motors down 17 or 6%. Booking Holdings down 19 or 1%. United Health is off about 3%. That is about 14 bucks to the downside. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. We have one, two, three, four, five requests so far. So let's take a quick peek at the uh, markets here. Uh, we'll do that by taking a look at the strong indices. Let's go take a look at the NQ. Go take a look at what its intraday charts are communicating to you and I. I guess, well, actually, before we do that, let's go take a look at the bigger picture maybe uh, bigger picture bigger picture would be the following let's turn over to these charts here so what you can see or you should be able to see are the a to b equals cd patterns that are in place out here the one-to-one -one price projection inside the nq i'll just simply expand out the chart make it a little bit easier is in the 12 544 level that also happens to be at 12,517, the center of its profile. And this profile is equally distributed. You've got buyers and sellers there. We can see it price is taking a pause. More likely than now, if you did get a bearish reversal candle, that would confirm a sell the D point pattern. Short of that, price will make its way up to the next area. And I suspect that's where it's headed. And that's in the 12,869 level. 12,869 uh, is the 1.272 expansion of that uh, C to D leg. And if we take a look at the uh, top of its daily profile, 12,837. So that's the target range to the upside right now for the NQ. You've got an A to B equals CD pattern, the upside inside the ES Mini too. That price projection, 40.34. As long as price closes above 39.50 or 39.41, then that will be the pattern. If you get a close that uh, is below 39.50 today, then the key level of resistance will have held. In the case of the Dow, a close above 31,867 is going to suggest we get up to 32,337, maybe 32,943. Again, an A to B equals CD pattern. And inside the Russell 2000, price basically has attained the one-to-one -one area. That was at 1834, the high today, 1827. Uh, but again, you want to look for a bearish reversal candle to identify 
a Gartley sell pattern. That is not what we have right now. If we take a look at the weekly, oh, that's the daily. If we take a look at the weekly uh, set of charts out here, price above the bottom of the uh, weekly profiles out there, that suggests that we could see a move higher. Now, remember, each of these weekly time frame charts have um, confirmed Rosemont indicator bottoms. The uh, first one to test next level resistance would be the NQ, and that's in the 12, 631 to 13, level. That's because it's a bearish structured profile, so sellers are lurking in that range out there. So that's another area for us to look at. Now let's go take a look at those intraday time frame charts out there and try to do the play-by-play -play analysis. By the way, who won the uh, All-Star game last night? I sort of fell asleep uh, after about the uh, third or fourth inning. Are those guys good or what? I mean, that was a. I enjoyed the 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 couple, maybe the hour or so that I watched the game out here. But anyways, back to the NQ. So we're looking here for topping patterns, topping signals. AL from the for the ninth straight game. Okay, cool. If we take a look at the NQ, the topping pattern really. Now you can see one on a 10 minute time frame chart. The 10 minute time frame chart suggests a move back to the 12 257 level, but it's a 60 minute chart that also has a nice confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator top. And uh, price might be targeting 12,298. So you got 12,257, 12,298, and 12,259. That happens to be the uh, so 12,259 would be the likely place where just a counter trend move. Now this is a counter trend move to the downside would find support because price closed above on a 60 minute, closed above the top of its bearish structured profile. We've been above it for three, four bars now. And so on a retracement, that would be the likely area where price would find or could find support out there. So uh, it's just the 60 minute and the 10 minute chart, and both of them kind of come into agreement in that 12, 259, 257 level out there. So we'll see if that uh, comes to fruition. That's what's going on inside the NQ. Let's go take a look at the ES Mini out here. This will take just a moment to populate. We'll see if its 60 minute time frame is also generated roads, momentum indicator top, or any other time frame. And we follow here 60, 30, 15, uh, 10, 120, and the uh, 240 and the five hour time frame chart. So those are what we have up on our screen here. Um, come on, finish populating out here. So the 10 minute has got the Rhodes Mintum indicator top out there. We're waiting to see where its breakout level of support is to give you a feel for where price might head to. So there we go, populate, and we don't have one. So it didn't have a TD9 count. In the case of the 60 minute, it's got the Rhodes Mintum indicator signal, but no bearish reversal candle. So not much help there. The NQ is the one that's leading us higher uh, as well as the uh, semis are. So I'd assume that the NQ would be the one that would lead us lower. Now, in the 120-minute time frame chart, you do happen to have a wave number seven pattern and what might be, might be because the two-hour time frame chart doesn't complete till two o'clock right now. You have a dark cloud cover candle. We've got 47 minutes left in the trading session. So I don't know if that will come to fruition or not. So I think right now, between the two ES or NQ, which one do you focus on? I'd say it'd be the NQ. Now, in the case of the NQ, Let's take a look at their TAS market breadth out here. It is bullish across the board. And that means weekly, daily, the 240 in the 60 minute time frame chart out there. So the ideal trade back in the NQ would be for price to get back to that, that counter trend area. I don't remember the number off the top of my head with the uh, 60 minute profile remaining in a bullish crossover. Right now you've got uh, 79 instruments trading above the top of the 60 minute profile and nine trading below. So that seems like a likely outcome. See you, Rhodes, with TFNN. We get back to this break. We're going to take a look at uh, ACP for Nick, URA for Lee, A Rock for David, Netflix for Ron, and HD here once they click at PG. booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, 
Ready Development Stage Gold Project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Welcome back, folks. You've got the uh, Dow down uh, 110, S&P's up 5, NASDAQ is up 97. Let's go to our first request out here. This one coming in from Nick. Want to take a look at Aurora Cannabis. ACB is the ticker symbol. And the question is, has this bottom? So, Nick, the uh, bottoming pattern that I would have out here only comes from the uh, weekly time frame chart. That was a TD9 count a uh, bottom that had formed out here. Price is trading with inside its profile. And uh, that suggests a uh, that price may make a move up to 201. If price can close above 201, 378. Now you run into the resistance right now, so I wouldn't I wouldn't suggest that you enter the trade right now because the resistance coming from the daily time frame that's the top of the daily profile that's at 166. Now price closes above that, then you may have a different story out there. But let's do this here for you. I will try to do this relatively quickly. Uh, just your email came in early and I uh, had done something, but we've got a number of uh, requests that are out here, so I'm going to have to be relatively quick on this. And that is we're going to go take a look at uh, you know, the ETF itself, MJ. Uh, here is the uh, – which chart are we on? Okay. So here's MJ. So this is the daily time frame chart for MJ, the alternative harvest ETF out here. And uh, this actually does have some roads meant to indicator bottom patterns for the daily time frame. And price right now is trading above the top of its profile out there. So watch MJ's close today. If that closes above um, 653, that's going to suggest uh, that we may have a change in trend. I say may because we haven't seen a close above. I was going to say we haven't seen a close above the top of a daily profile for quite some time. Well, we actually had one on May 17th. But then the very next day, price got back inside the profile. So if you get two consecutive closes above the top of that, that 612 out there, then we likely have a change in trend inside of the entire sector itself. Now, the top eight positions, I believe, they, now this is from probably a few weeks ago, so they may have shifted just a tad. But let's go take a look at those here real quickly since MJ may be signaling a bottom. You've got Tilray. 
Tilray out here has a confirmed Roachment indicator bottom. Resistance at 417 and 454. TD9 count bottom in CGC. Can uh, canopy growth out here. Prices above the top of this profile. So close above 278. Suggest around to 361 out there. Uh, GRWG, that has a confirmed Roachment indicator bottom. Price above the top of its profile now for two consecutive sessions. So it does look like this sector finally wants to uh, bottom out there. But watch today's close. So I do hope that helps you out, Nick. Thanks so much for the request and have a uh, wonderful Wednesday. Let's go to our next request out here. That is coming in from Lee, who wanted now a couple of these are also out from, from yesterday. Uh, apologize not getting to them yesterday. ISP, it just it, it didn't come across uh, with enough time during the show. But what uh, Lee wants to look at is uranium ura is the uh, ticker symbol so let's go take a look at uh, let me switch screens out here that would be make it a little bit easier otherwise you're just going to look at my running man on the uh on the in a beautiful setting that's for sure Run, running woman i should say uh if we take a look at uranium what do we have out here what we have out here is price above uh now for three consecutive days above the top of its uh, bearish structure daily profile so that suggests a uh, move higher out here uh, that move higher would likely target the 2208 level, the TD9 count breakdown area. I don't believe we really have a confirmed buy the D point pattern, but let me just check this out. Let me just draw on the A to B line basically out here, move this in essence over to the C level, and do we have one? We really don't have a con confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside there. Um, you know, the monthly chart is kind of suspect out here uh, with the trading below its oscillator and change line. And it's just slightly right at the bottom of its monthly profile. So uranium may just be setting up a move to its red oscillator and change line on the weekly time frame. So watch the 2068 level. If price can overtake that, close above it, then you're looking to move to 2157. If price can close above that, then you're to 2552. So that really would bring into play your 2208. So in summary out here, you've got a TD9 count bottom. Inside of the daily time frame, price above its bearish structure profiles, you should see a run to the 2208, 2068 area out there. So I do hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request, Lee. David wrote in and wanted to take a look at ticker symbol AROC. So uh, uh, let's go see what AROC is doing out here. I don't know what the ticker symbol is, and I don't need to know. But what David was looking for is, hey, what's it doing out here? Well, you've got a confirmed Roachment indicator bottom. That was confirmed with that Three River Morning Star pattern. That was over three candles, July 5th, July 6th, and then July the uh, 7th out there. Price is trading with inside its profile. So, Dave, uh, David, what Price should do is go target the 830, the sell zone, is between 839 and 852. That's where the sellers are lined up. Whether or not buyers can take them out, I do not know. But 839 to 852 should be its price target out there. I don't have a bottoming pattern on a weekly time frame, but we do have a big old hammer candle that formed a couple of weeks ago. That would suggest uh, price may. Now, price should target 843 there. So you get 843, the bottom of its weekly profile, 839 to 852 in the daily. That is likely where a rock is headed to. So I hope that helps you out, David. Thanks so much for writing in. We've got uh, Ron who wanted to take a look at Netflix, and FLX is the ticker symbol. So let's go see what Netflix is doing out here. Give this a moment just to populate. Netflix is uh, really trying to set up an A to B equals CD to the upside pattern. And in fact, it, uh, if price closes above, and it's trading above that high right now, the high being 207.38, your 211.62, you've got an A to B equals CD to the upside pattern out there. So that'd be the first thing that I would look at. Now that could extend itself. On a weekly basis, you have a confirmed Roads Mentum Indicator bottom. That was confirmed last week with that bullish hammer candle. I don't have much on the uh, monthly time frame out there, so it's going to be the weekly and the daily that are control things. So the weekly, even though you've got A to B equals C to the upside out here, what this suggests, Ron, is watch as price gets to that 232.85 level. That is where the sellers are sitting, and that is the top of the weekly profile. If price can overcome that, then we likely have a change in trend signal out there. That change in trend signal could signal, boy, you got to love that grammar, but that change in trend signal could mean there you go. That's a little bit better. Could have run up to the 387.72 level. That's over the longer term. That is the monthly oscillator unchanged line. So I hope that helps you out with regard to what Netflix is doing. Let's go to the next request that uh, came out. I'm going to get through all these requests and not have anything to do for a half an hour out there. Slow down, Steve-O. Uh, we can't. So let's go take a look at the next request. That coming in from... Uh, 
HD. We want to take a look at Procter & Gamble. So let's get those charts up here on the uh, screen. And uh, I think that one might have come in. Uh, yeah, that came in just a little time ago. So I've got that email handy. It just simply says we have some we have some PG and wondering what do you think about the action today. So the action today is that price is testing support. And that is the bottom of its daily profile. So that's certainly a level to watch out there. That low is at 141.27. We're at 141.24. If price closes below that low, that's going to suggest lower price out here. Lower price to where? Well, I'm just looking for the profile levels to assist us out here, HD. And that next profile level would really come in on the weekly time frame. So price is trading. So it's a bullish structured weekly profile. But it's quite a range. That range is between 136 and 142.50. The top of that box is 158. So it looks like price might pull back. It's within this range out there. That's, again, with a close below the bottom of its daily profile. But you could be looking to move back to the 136, even Steven area out there. 137.96 could be an area of support. That's the bottom of its monthly profile. So what do we think about Procter & Gamble? It's not like I've got a sell the D point or a sell pattern out there to get to wave number four, letter D, and uh, prices testing support. So hope that helps you out. HD, thanks so much for writing in. We'll be right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, still a bit of a mixed bag out there with the indices, the uh, Dow off 45, the New York Stock Exchange on 22. Otherwise, all the other indices are trading to the upside. We're going to go take a look at Shopify for Rick K. Rick wants to take a look at Shop Shopify and Amazon. Just says, uh, uh, please provide a, a short-term outlook. So the short-term outlook would be uh, price is uh, likely going to – well, you got a brand-new profile, actually, that's forming today. Give me a second here. 
see that. So the old profile is not any good for us for the most part. Just want to make sure that uh, no. So that's still got the old profile. Um, no, it does not. So price is actually trading above a profile that formed a couple of days ago, Rick, and that was at uh, 34.73. And this is a nice wide-ranging bar that's moving through there. By the way, there's a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom out here. So this is suggesting higher price. Now, the higher price level, even though you've got a TD9 count breakdown level at 74.13, there's other areas that price has got to get through. So you've got a nice bottom pattern with price taking out resistance. That does suggest that this should continue to move higher. It's 41.19. That is a likely price target. We're trading at 37.73. Now that that price can't take that out. That's where the sellers are lined up. So like they were able to do on the daily time frame today, take out where their sellers were located at. Uh, you'll want to watch 41.19. If price can close above 41.19, then you've got to move to 64.44 out there. If you don't get above 41.19, or that becomes a place where a price uh, tests and rejects that level out there, then, uh, because as I look at the monthly time frame chart, the better option would be this month, next month, or the month after, that price actually pierces through last month's low and then generates bar number eight. Maybe it's bar number nine that it does it on, but it generates a TD9 count bottom at a level of breakout support at the 2821 level. That would be the ideal thing for Shopify. No idea whether that will come to fruition. But to answer your question, the short term outlook, Shopify should go target 4119. Yes, the same question about Amazon. So let's get their charts up on our screen out here. Amazon right now is trading out at, uh, what's it trading out at? Uh, 122.44. It does look like it's on its way to 130.76. 130.76 is the TD9 count breakdown level. I suggest that because we can see that price is trading above the top of its weekly profile. Now, it's only Wednesday, but if price does close above 121.40 or 122.52 right now, then that's going to suggest that we should see price get up to the daily TD9 count breakdown level, 130.76. No bottom pattern on the uh, monthly time frame chart out there. So much like Shopify, we kind of have to put that off to the side. Uh, but you do have a nice Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom on the weekly, nice bottom on the uh, daily. And so the short-term view for Amazon is that it should go target that 130.76 level so long as price close above 121.40 at the end of the session on Friday. So I hope that helps you out, Rick. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. And... Uh, and have a, a great uh, day out there. Let's go to the next question. That's coming in from Dan inside the Tiger's Den. Dan wants to take a look at ticker symbol SWIM. So let's go swimming with uh, Dan. Let's see uh, where, what this is doing here. I don't know, Dan, if there's anything specific you wanted me to look at, but we'll just give you the lowdown out here. That lowdown shows the price trade at 639 it has a confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom, and 687 is the next level of resistance out there. If price can clear 687, and really what we're saying, you've got a nice TD9 count bottom on the uh, weekly, and this week uh, you might get a confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. But what really needs to take place in SWIM, let's pull this back here, is price, uh, so there's not a lot of data inside of SWIM. So I think this is an IPO from back in April of last year. Uh, but nonetheless, you'd still like to see price close above that red oscillator and change line, Dan. That's at the 649-ish level. It's called 650 on a uh, further move higher. But 649, 650, or 647. So price is at resistance. If you can close above that, that's going to suggest a move to 687. If price get above that, you're looking at 862 to 1001. I would say 1001 would really be the uh, number you'd be looking at because that is a bullish structured weekly profile. That's where, if this is only a counter trend move, we don't know whether it is or not, but that's where price would find resistance. Nothing on the monthly time frame to take action. So I do hope that helps you out with regard to SWIM. Nancy wants to take like a ticker symbol NEE. -E. Uh, is that a grape knee high out there? Is that, I think that's Next Terra Energy or something like that, right? Uh, NEE, -E, yeah, Next Terra Energy. Next Terra Energy is trading out at, uh, and her question was price can't break through the 80 level. And now that you take a look at the daily time frame chart, Nancy, let me just simply open this up on my screen here. I wish you were on the line. I know you're inside the Tiger's Den, but I wish you were on the line now narrating why is it that price is having a tough time breaking through the $80 level. 
because it's answered right there on the charts. It's nothing Stevie's come up with. That happens to be the top of that bearish structured daily profile. So you're absolutely right. Price is struggling to get through a bearish structured daily profile level of 80.72. Right now, at price also, though, it's just consolidated with inside the weekly profile. So price has held the bottom of its profile at 77.44. It's held the top of its profile at 80.72. Right now, price is below its green oscillator and change line. That looks like about 79.50. 35, 79, 35. But you got resistance. If price can close above that, it says you take another shot at the 80, 72 level. That's the daily time frame chart out here. So that answers that question. Why is it struggling to get through the 80 area? Let's go look at the weekly time frame chart. What do we have out here for NEE? Not much. Uh, it does look positive in that price is trading above the top of its bearish structured profile and has held its red oscillator and change line. No bottom signal on the monthly, but it does say you've got resistance 84. So if price can take out, that means close above 80.72, then that's going to suggest a move up to the 84.13 area. And if price get above that, 88.43 would be your final destination. But right now, you just got a consolidation with inside that daily profile. So thanks so much for writing in. I do hope that helps you out. Hector and the fuel injectors. That is our next question. Happy, wonderful, wacky Wednesday out there. Pfizer is what the Hector wants to look at. And uh, so let's get that uh, fired up on the screen here. Read Hector's question. Fiserv's looks like the uh, good Stevo students we are. We loaded up on a buy the D point back on June the uh, 17th out there. That sounds good. At the beginning of June, you directed us to wait for it to hit the bottom of this profile range, 88 to uh, 90. Okay, out there, however, it looks like it's running into the descending trend line. Ah, okay, so I don't have a descending trend line up on this set of charts here, but I'll go over there and uh, let's go take Take a look at it. So here we take a look at the daily time frame. Here's what we know. And what we do know is that price is uh, above the uh, top of its daily profile out there. I need to fire this up, Pfizer, on my other charts as well. And that way I'll also be able to get those uh, trend lines out here for Hector and Patty. Uh, so, yeah, price is above 94.25. So the bottom of the profile, 90.29, that was where both the bottom and the center. So there were a lot of sellers that were lined up uh, at that 90.29 level. This is suggesting, so you've got an A to B equals CD to the upside pattern out here. Um, but nonetheless, it looks like price wants to go target the 101 48 level. If you did get a bearish reversal candle, Hector and Patty, that's going to be a confirmed by the D point. That would suggest price may travel back to support old resistance, which would be the top of the profile. That could become new support. That's at 94 and a quarter out there. If I take a look at the weekly time frame chart, uh, the uh, key level of resistance here, next key level is 98.34. If you can get a close above that, that's going to suggest to move up to the 108 area. On the uh, monthly time frame, I don't have any kind of a uh, bottom, not yet out here in the case of Fiserv. So with regard to Fiserv, I would let's just go uh, change over to my other charts out here. Let's see if we can get a uh, get the trend lines up for Hector and Patty. And uh, I need to just actually put those on right now. So give me a moment. We'll get those drawn in here. If there are any that uh, there are any for this instrument. So now we take a look at the daily time frame. So there's your trend line right now, Hector and Patty. And that says it's to the upside. And it's in the 100 area. So everything is pointing to the 101.48 region. Steve Rhodes with TFNN will be right back. We'd love to hear from you folks. 877-927-6648. Or feel free to send me an email. And send it quick to steve at tfnn.com. TFNN has been your trusted source of analysis for bonds, metals, stocks, commodities, and options for years. And we are happy to announce that we are bringing that same caliber of analysis for the Forex market. Teddy Kekstad has 30 plus years of experience in Forex trading, commodity risk management, Forex hedging, volatility, and so much more. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with elite coverage of all major currency pairs, including the DXY, Euro dollar, pound dollar, Aussie dollar, dollar yen, dollar Swiss franc, and so much more. Teddy will recommend specific trades when the market presents them and provide updates throughout the week when warranted. For the month of July, inaugural members to the Tiger Forex Report will receive 25% off the monthly subscription for as long as they're subscribed. Just use promo code TEDDY25 to lock in the added savings. This offer is good only for the month of July, so do not miss your opportunity to save on the Tiger Forex Report. TFNN, educating investors.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Folks, so we've got a couple more requests in here. The next one coming in from MKC in the Tiger's Den wants to go take a look at the good old Apple. So let's go switch over to those white background charts out there. Uh, Mike, I do see your email. Sorry that these are being cut off. I have no idea why these white background charts are being cut off here. But uh, we'll work on that with the uh, guys in production, see if we can get that uh, figured out here. Here we've got the uh, daily, weekly, and monthly time frame charts out here. So what we know about Apple is it did confirm a sell the D point pattern. It did that on July the 18th. But right now that high is being taken out. And that high is at 151.57. So a close of 151.57, MKC says we continue to move higher. And what we'd look for there is you'd be watching for the next bearish reversal candle to confirm a Gartley sell pattern or a sell the D point pattern. We don't have that right now. And as we look at the weekly time frame chart, with the daily negating its first sell the D point pattern, the weekly has a nice TD9 count bottom, prices well above its oscillator and change line, that suggests that it wants to move, it being Apple, into its bearish structured region on a weekly basis. That bearish structured region is between 163.75 and 167.64. Price may spike above or move above that level and get up to the 171.53 area. That's a TD nine count breakdown level. So bigger picture, intermediate term picture, Apple wants to continue to move higher. Those are the price targets. Shorter term picture, watch the daily chart. to close above uh, that uh, bearish engulfing candle. Again, that level is 151.57, and Apple should be off to the races to the upside, but you want to pay attention just in case another bearish reversal candle forms. So MKC, I do hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the request. We've got a request from David who wants to take a look at CMEX. CMEX is ticker symbol CX out there, and uh, David's question goes like this. I'm looking for an entry point on CMEX. Yep, Mexican cement maker. I know them well. They really run a great company out there. Uh, many years ago, I was at a uh, workshop, Tony Robbins workshop, and actually um, they were featured. They were one of the featured companies out there. It was a business, a mastery uh, class out there. And so I did get a chance to um, to learn about uh, that company really, really well run. That was a number of years ago. Don't know if management's changed or anything. But you're looking for an entry point out here in CMEX. And so your entry point would likely be in the 374 to 379 range out there. And that is, uh, that's just simply based upon the fact that right now, 
price was unable to take out its prior swing point. That was June 28th. It is pulling back a bit, no pattern or anything. So if price can get back to support, that would be old resistance. We can see how that is held. Your entry point would be around 374. You don't want to see a close blow 374 because that would say, geez, what was happening in the past isn't happening in the future. In other words, 374 holding a support. There might be something else going on. As I look at the weekly time frame chart, nothing there to really help us out. Longer term, on a monthly basis, and this is a good reason to be looking at this, you have a, a weekly TD9 count bottom. And that'll remain in place unless last month's lows get taken out. This suggests that price should run over time up to the 530 area. You had wave number seven, letter G, for the uh, daily time frame, so that's a confirmed bottom. So maybe you just get one more retracement back to that support level in the 374, 379 area, and that's where you should consider firing away. What I'd like to do, what I'd like you to do is look at a 30-minute chart or an intraday chart as that is happening, David, and see if you can find some type of bottom signal or right back to me and uh, we'll uh, we'll see at that time as price is pulling back whether it's doing that. Um, interesting. So, you know what I did uh, there, Mike is writing in about the uh, Netflix charts, the Apple charts. I just moved that right side over just a tad. Uh, so, you know, so if that can help us out, that's great. And the production uh, guys, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll have to take a look at all my charts. So that's the, that's the only bummer out there. So that's the uh, final request that we have out here. Um, not that there can't be more that will come in, but we've got about a, well, we do have four minutes left in this segment out there. So if you do have a request, go ahead and send me an email, steve at tfn.com or inside the Tiger's Den. Go ahead and uh, write in the request. In the meantime, we're just simply going to go surf around. So there was a discussion about the U.S. dollar out here, and the question was how high could it go? Well, oh, there might be a request here from G-Man. Can we look at the QQQ? Well, we can, uh, G-Man, uh, uh, and I'll put those up on the screen for you. But it really was a discussion about the NQs that you should be focused on. Of course, I don't know your time frame out here, uh, but uh, you're going to get the better intraday signal, which I provided. Um, so if we take a look at the Qs out here. You've got an A to B equals CD to the upside out there. Uh, that's assuming that it closes above this uh, 290. Well, it closed above it yesterday. Yesterday was a confirmation of that pattern. So what you want to do here is you want to wait to see if there is a bearish reversal candle. I don't know if you're long, if you're short out there. But if you did get a bearish reversal candle, that would suggest that you've got a Gartley sell pattern. And their price would then pull back or should pull back to the 296.75 level or may pull back to that level. That's the top of its profile. On a weekly basis, the Qs are now trading above the uh, oscillator and change line. This suggests their next rendezvous is at the 306.94 level. That's the center of its uh, bullish structured weekly profile. We never got two consecutive closes below that area. So whereas I would typically say that's where a counter trend move can end, certainly it can end there, but it's not as significant as when we have two bars that close below the bottom of a profile out there. But that's the next battle to the upside is in the 306.94 area. If price can get above that in the queues, then you're looking at a run to 347.87. So I hope that helps you out, uh, G-Man. Uh, the uh, What do we want to do next out here? Let me just see if this is a request. If you need uh, if you need one Stevie AFIB, I'm always in need of one. So let's go take a look at uh, this is a request here for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. Thank you for providing it. When you give me these requests out here, it just makes the show for me. It makes it way easier to do. One, I'm answering specific questions. Plus, we're taking a look at patterns out here. It's how other folks uh, learn, at least the system or the tools that I use. But let's get back to AFIB. And AFIB has got a nice confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom that occurred on June 21st. And you had that nice big gap up right into resistance, the TD9 count breakdown level. That is held so far with the exception of today. Price is above it. That's the good news. The bad news is, Dan, that today is going to become bar number nine of a TD9 count as price is testing a prior swing point. So. For all intents and purposes, we should see a short-term top. That short-term top should take us back to 103. That would be its green oscillator and change line. If price tests and rejects that, that would be the next entry area if you're adding your position or looking to get in to a position out there. Now, it could be that the TD9 count doesn't take effect until tomorrow. You could get a higher high, but you do have that TD9 count pattern to pay attention to out there on the... Uh, On the monthly time frame, we've got a TD9 count bottom as well. 
And on the weekly time frame, you've got a rose momentum indicator bottom. So I like this. AFIB for all of uh, for these three time frames have confirmed bottom signals out there. So I don't know why. Uh, uh, so okay. So apparently I've got a number of things open, and it didn't totally get to the. Uh, let me uh, let me let me AFIB make sure it didn't ha it didn't totally update the data. But now it's updated out here. The price to trade out at one thirty nine. So that resistance level is from the trading day of this is a bearish engulfing candle may 20 uh may 2nd out there and the high of that session is uh, 140 you're 140 right now now if you close above it again nice positive but today is going to be bar number nine tomorrow the bar following bar number nine, you should get some type of short term top inside ticker symbol afib acutus acutus medical see roads with tfnn be right there be right there Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So you got the uh, Dow off 82. Uh, nah, New York Stock Exchange down 38. S&P is up 9. NASDAQ 100 up 135. So we've got the NQ up on our chart out here, uh, up on our screen, I should say. And uh, you can see the 60-minute uh, time frame that's got that Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. 
Uh, price still is holding support. That's a green oscillator and change line. That is currently printing at, and so this is going to close here in about, what, uh, six minutes? So you want to watch the 12.419 level. Price closes below that. That suggests we should continue to see a further move lower with, again, that price target being the 12.259 level. And, again, that is the uh, center of its bearish structured 60-minute profile out there. Otherwise, do I see anything else? Not really much else at the uh, moment. Uh, let's go uh, switch over to our other screens out here. Got about a minute to go. Let's go take a look at advanced decline oscillator for the New York Stock Exchange. We took a look at that yesterday. That was approaching the plus 150 level. It did close above plus 150. When it closed above plus 150, which is in the over bought region we'll get that screen up here now um that does what that does it suggests that we should see a further move higher this should not be the end of the move that's what its signal is now i don't know where it's going to close today you're at 167 basically uh, but this is a this is a so it's both bullish and it says that we should see some kind of top form now i don't know if this top is going to form with a declining Advanced decline oscillator, those are the, uh, in panel number two, those are those diagonal green lines out there. Or we're just going to get a plus 150 failure. But what we want to do is we really want to keep our eyes on the NQ out there. I think that is the driving force. The semis as well. But the NQ, much easier for you and I to uh, pay attention to. Because we can, you know, look at its charts for about 23 hours worth of time. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear. He's my favorite polar bear, too. He's up next. After that, Obi-Wan Kenobi will take us on home. I'll be back with you on Terrific Thursday. You folks have a wonderful Wednesday. Take care now.